Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing the Vampire Survivor Bullet Hell. Oh. Um I don't know which one's actually the best. I think Blade Arang. But you need a lot of damage. I'm gonna ooh because it's a good single target. Um we're definitely gonna go ability. Oh experience. Let's go. It's very important so you can hit those uh, evolutions. I still haven't hit an evolution. The game starts you off very weak. You need to start, uh, you need to play around, get gold, and, and make permanent upgrades. You get passive slots, you get new weapons. There's the box, there's the gold. That helps you upgrade, which will make your runs a lot easier. It is very hard to win the game from a. Uh, from a clean start. Ooh, Gatling, Gatling guns are really good. Oh, these are all good. I don't know which one. I should take the experience. All, all things considered, I think it's the experience. Because the more levels you have, the more options you get. So, good. So we're playing Seraphine. Jinx is your first option as a DPS. Seraphine is more of a support unit. Jinx does a lot more damage. Everyone comes with a passive and a, a two abilities. One ultimate and one simple ability. My first ability, Yumi Quest is spawning. Oh, I've never done that before. Let me see what it is. Now, I will take the haste, but we need to upgrade Soundwave. It's very important. Right, there's a quest. I don't know what to do. Um, it's the first time I see this. Maybe I have to find something. We shall see. The box. There's three dots. And there's three things. So, I'm gonna go ahead and assume I have to find something. Lana's Lament I've tried. Doesn't feel as good. We're gonna try it again, because he evolves with something specific. Oh, there it is. What is this? Do I just have to stand here? Yes. Catch the red dots. Alright, let's go. What are you? What am I, cat? Uh, am I not fast enough? Movement speed? I got it. Ooh, it gives you this. The specific augments. Red's ability haze fluctuating between minus 50 and 125. Fuck that. Drink 30% in size and lose 20% max health. Gain movement speed and 36 haste. Gain health whenever you gain gold. Uh, we'll do bite size. That sounds more fun. Because I want to cast a lot. Losing health is not that big of a deal. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. So that right there gives you a power up. That does a lot of damage. And I tickle these bosses. This is the first boss, by the way. He does this giant AoE that hits you. Damage, armor. I kind of do want damage, but speed is good too. The things I go for... Oh, shoot. I might, I might have messed up here. Oh, it's different every time. I think this, this is cooldown. No? I don't know what this is specifically. Let's see. Increase size of projectiles and your weapon's abilities. Okay, it just makes your weapon like max level, it seems. So it's different types of buffs. Uh, we'll do Gatling Gunnies. I, I think I have to change my strategy. I need to go... Fuck. Hold up. We'll do haste. Wait, what's the cooldown on this? 8.9. The last time, when I actually won my game after a couple tries, four tries, it was with health, regen, and armor. You do need armor. Armor is very important. But then I lose on regen. Man, you really have to pick your passives. Especially early, since you only have a couple slots. Let's 
We'll do armor. It makes my shield worth more. But that means I have no passive regen. And I have no damage. Ooh, this is gonna be a, a rough one. We might not win this. If we level hard enough and we have enough damage, we might. As of, as of right now, I am actually very scared. Get out of here. So there's mini bosses. There's events like these that circle you around. You cannot kill the circle. You have to kill the boss or you just dodge until you, they disappear. Ooh, a blaster. Oh, it gives me one more projectile. All right, we're going to need a lot of damage here, so... Oh, this is going to be bad. I doubt I'll, I'll, I'll win this one. But if I do, it's going to be good. If we kill the minimas, we get an extra a free upgrade. Of no choosing. All right, let's, let's look around the map a little bit. See if there's buffs like this one. Uh, it looks like it's not going to run out yet. I'm going to wait to use it for when Nocturne shows up. Nocturne is pretty hard to hit kill. I haven't used my ult yet because thankfully I, I haven't needed it. All right, let's, let's take it. Infinite ability haste. That has to be a bunch of haste, yeah. You can always press C. There it is. Uh, yeah, let's do boomerang. You just go more blaster. It's already level four, and it can be. Uh, it can evolve. I haven't evolved anything yet. I don't know what level it does. Oh wait, no, it doesn't tell me. Ooh, more XP. We're doing max XP here. There's Nocturne. Wait, I need to focus Nocturne here. He will do this dash thing. Which is very annoying. I'm gonna get real close because I have a shield. I'm doing more damn. Oh, all right, fifty percent XP. At your first game, you won't get that many passive options. It's going to be very limiting. You're going to have to play a couple games to keep unlocking stuff. It does have a lot of a decent amount of progression. It's not like some something you can just go in and just play. The health in the middle, you can get every now and then. Oh, more Uwu Blast. I kind of want to do more other things, but... I want to see if I, if I can level it up any higher. If I can evolve it. Build up. Oh, a Yumi Quest is spawning. Right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ult this real quick. Do a lot of damage. Clear this out. Oh, there you go. First evolution. It fires twice. So that's the first time I ever got an evolution. I'm guessing it's like Vampire Survivors. I wonder if Soundwave evolves. Hmm. I'm gonna do Soundwave. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. I just don't know what evolves it yet. Oh, but as you can see, it's doing a lot of damage. Uh, I'm gonna get going. It's better to do this, trust. Oh, there's the bombs. Bombs are very scary. But for the first time... Oh, wait, wait. I need to go to the Yumi thing. Alright. Move to the mark and bounce the bomb. Oh, I got it. All right, this is too dangerous. I might lose if I'm not careful. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not worth losing for that. 
All right, I'm gonna shield here, tank a couple bombs to, just to grab this. There's a health on the, over there. Which is very important to dodge. Luckily, there's only one or two bombs, bomb waves. Those are the worst ones. I have my ult and a shield. Should be okay. I'm gonna shield and tank this. I have more damage than I usually do. Good. Haste. Let's do haste. Evolving a weapon might be good. Oh, I can kill the things. Alright. I have a little bit of passive regen, thankfully. It's not that bad. I do want to stay in one place, get as much experience as possible, level up more and more. There's a Kogma somewhere. There he is. He's not as scary. Okay. Another sound wave. Moving speed, ability haste, sound wave five. So the reason why I'm not taking sound wave that much is because it's it's mainly like a slow. But I'm gonna max it just because it's already there. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Sadly, I didn't do the Yumi thing. I was not tanky enough for it. It's a shame. There it is. It gets very intense. You just have to survive until 15 minutes. These things are really strong. And at the end of the game, or very near the end, it just throws everything at you. And you all you have to do is sort of, Oh, I took that by accident. I shouldn't take that. Oh, that's a magnet. If you take it, everything mag magnetizes towards you. Ability haste. Let's max out haste. Let's do boomerang. Last time I won with tankiness, so I'm more intrigued towards tankiness. Wow, okay. All these boxes spawn everywhere, so you have to move around to find all these boxes. Since I got a couple of magnets. I'm gonna wait to use them. I don't know if they expire. But I need to get out of here. This is a bad spot. Stay close. We're almost at 15 minutes. XP is very necessary, it seems. Uh, let me check if the magnets disappeared. They have not. The boxes have respawned. There's a health there. I'm gonna grab one. Let's see if we can evolve this. Getting a little scary. We gotta be careful. I'm gonna get overwhelmed soon. I'll stay in an open area so I can juke. Let's not take that. And then we'll go for the magnets later. But we have the damage this time. Even, even if I didn't take the damage uh, thing. There's, there's a boss. I'm gonna shield. Oh, a buff. Let's go. What is it? Is that a slow? Yeah, it's a giant slow. I would have liked damage, but that's fine. A final Yumi quest. Alright. 
Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go collect my magnet. They disappear. Okay. Well, good to know. Let's go to the Yumi quest. See if we can do it. Got that gold. Alright. Field and go through. Uh, I want to evolve the boomerang for once. I'm gonna go for that. Right, I need to shield to get through here. Take down the chomper. I don't know if I can do that. I think I'm gonna die here if I'm not very careful. Uh, I'm not gonna play around. It's very stupid if I do. I have low health. I guess we can try. Take it down. Wait. Take this. And we take it down? We can, we can, we can. What am I talking about? Okay, bullet mania. Deal with 20% reduced damage, but every six levels permanently gain out. Does that like that's bad, right? Gain area size for each critical strike dealt. I don't do critical strike. Standing still begins increasing your ability haste, but also begins draining your health. That's crazy. Uh, these are all bad. I hope Bullet Mania works, but I'm I'm guessing it doesn't because it start. I don't think it start ca counting your thing yet. Projectiles become beams of light. That's not good. That's not good enough. Uh, I'll take the armor. Oh god, I'm scared. We need to go where there is a lot of... Shoot. Hold up, hold up. We need to find boxes. Or I'm gonna die soon. Go this way. And find some boxes. A magnet would help me. There's some boxes. Hopefully I get health. Alright, there's a shield. Just move. Move, move, move. Do I max boomerang or do I go I go armor? I have one more minute left. There's some health. It's huge. Alright, we need the shield. You see, these, these guys are unkillable, so tankiness is very important. I know there's a bunch of boxes in this corner. I need to get my shield first. I need to ult. Let's see if we can upgrade the boomerang here. Oh, this is bad. I've closed myself in a really bad position. Oh, there's a health. Shield, shield. Oh, a buff. I don't know what this buff is. I can't, I don't have time to look. The fountain's back up. I need to save for my shield. Grab that health. And go for the health. Wait, shield. Go for health. Come on, come on, come on. Heal up, heal up. As you can see, there's no way out for me. I have to get my ult here to survive. I'm really gonna push it here. All right, I'm gonna ult here. I'll get my shield and I shouldn't die. There you go. Now it puts me to Rek'Sai, it seems again. You close me up. And... I don't think I can upgrade the boomerang anymore. I'm gonna take movement speed. Because you don't get any more upgrades. Now Rek'Sai is fairly simple. He just kinda puts this thing that you have to kill and he shoots some, the sharks. Oh, this is a lot harder than before. Probably because I'm not infinitely tanky. Because that health regen. Ouch. You can't let him touch you. If he touches you, he resets the tunnel. Once you kill the, kill the tunnel, you do a lot of damage to him. 
this juke move around and hit the tunnel i use the shield so i can get close to the tunnel oh i can upgrade okay but you can only get the evolution if you hit the if you get a uh, one of those things one of those cards just like in vampire survivors so if you have knowledge of vampires you can actually get through Got this money you just have to wait for him to spawn the tunnel there he is that's the sharks i'm just gonna shield and sit on this and tank it wait get the shield this is why haste is so good you can have the sh infinite shields the shield don't let him touch you or he resets there it is Juke those I'm not do no I'm not gonna do auto he seems to have a lot of armor all right let's shield up and just stand on it oh that was dangerous but I killed it way faster this time I think we're good think we're good in a close range all right getting close we're gonna tank this the shield's gone we wait shield i can't tank him with him close or he's gonna reset nice all right two more times Bosses aren't as hard as the 15 minute mark. Oh, he's a lot faster. Alright, let's get in here. Mm. I'll just do Gatling. It's fine. Heal. Get close. Oh! Good movement speed. There we go. One more time, I believe. I don't think it, the multiple multiple projectiles stack damage. At least I don't think. Maybe it does. I'm just gonna ult this for fun. Cause I haven't ulted. There you go. GG. Not bad. It might not be as easy. Remember, your first couple games are gonna be hard until you get a lot of uh, upgrade challenges. Like now we got more projectile count as a passive. 100 gold. Gold. Great ability haze up battle bunny duration so these are the buffs you don't get you don't even get the buffs in your first play nice grumbler that's an augment that's a passive oh here's the characters i've only unlocked Ilawi. briar is after a boss R. there's the upgrades there's the objectives and yeah definitely one projectile count an experience I have 400 for one more thing but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i'll beat the other levels and upload that if you guys want to watch it let me know give a like if you did and yeah have a good one thank you so much